Charizard is easily one of the most overrated Pokemon of all time, and yet, it's not very good. Granted, its Mega Evolutions are a different story, but a sad reminder that they aren't in the game currently. It's just plain old Charizard on its Todd being bad. However, given the right support and the awesome move Belly Drum boosting its attack to sky high levels, it can be pretty good. Today's first battle with Belly Drum Charizard is against Zafire, and <laughs> Charizard really pops up in this one. So without further ado, I present to you the Charizard video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Zyfire. Zyfire? They're going to lead off with Lando, as I led off with my good old Araquanid, which is great and all. Um, Araquanid is a good, uh, a good lead here, so they get the Intimidate off, which is fine. They probably want to taunt us, if anything, but I'm going to try and get my sticky webs up anyway. They go for a Stone Edge, which is going to probably take us down to our Sash. It doesn't, actually. As uh, we get the sticky webs up, which is great. So it's a good job I didn't predict the taunt there and overpredict. Um, naturally, of course, I want to switch out um, into Great Tusk. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, we may as well preserve a Raquinid because it could still be useful um, as Death Fodder later, for example. So we'll go into good old Great Tusk. They go for a U-turn, which is going to activate our Rocky Helmet, which is going to do a bit of chip to them, which is great. And then they're going to go back. So what do they go into? Probably the Flutter main, if I actually saw the Iron Valiant. Flutter Meshe comes in, which is the Flutter main. Nice name, nice name. Um, they get Sticky Webs, which is always great. And um, we don't outspeed them still. But we, if we assume they're going to go for a Moonblast, we should go into Goldengo, right? Or we should sack off a Raquinid, because they haven't got a Hazard Clearer. I think I'll sack off a Raquinid, because it's too early to decide whether or not they're going to predict me to go Goldengo and go for a Shadow Ball, or whether they're going to go for a Moonblast. We'll find out in a second which one of the best things to go into would be. So um, there we go. A Raquinid comes in. And they do Terra. What type are they going to tear her into, though? Something that's, like, weak to ground, probably. <laughs> oh, no, Terra Fairy. So they have gone for a Moonblast, probably. Which is fine. You know, absolutely fine by me. If we assume, based on the fact that they didn't get a booster energy boost, then they must be choice. They go for a Moonblast, that's going to take us out. So now, we can freely go into Goldengo if we want to and go for a Make It Rain. I don't really see any switchings that make it rain. Um, alternatively, we could go Charizard and go for a BD. Or we can go into the Alola Ninetales and go for a Aurora Veil. I'm leaning towards the Aurora Alola Ninetales Aurora Veil. I'm leaning towards it just because it just seems like a better option for us. So we'll do it. We'll go Alola Ninetales. We'll go the Aurora Veil option. That's always best. Um, so we go for the Aurora Veil like so. I'm pretty confident we can take a Moonblast from this thing even if they're specs. They withdraw. We obviously outspeed them because of the sticky webs anyway. Um, so I wasn't worried about taking the Moonblast or not. So they're going to go into Terriesta, which is going to be the Clodzire. We go, well, they're going to get caught in the Sticky Webs, of course. Um, this is actually a really good opportunity for us. So we go for the Aurora Veil. And when I say good opportunity, I mean it's a good opportunity for Charizard. Now, I'm going to go for a Freeze Drive first and foremost, see what they're going to do. They go, they're going to go for a Stealth Rocks or a Toxic or whatever they want to go for. Um, they go for a Spikes. Now, Spikes? is great we don't mind spikes because charizard's flying so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to encore them into spikes and they're probably thinking yeah well it's not the end of the world at least they get my spikes up so i'm going to encore them into spikes right now and i'm going to use this as an opportunity to get my charizard in i know for a fact they've already terrored so we don't have to we don't have to worry about any surprise terrors right Right? So, with that in mind, we switch out to Charizard right now. We go Charizard right now and we belly drum. We belly drum in their face. So, we got the Aurora Veil up. We encored the Clods Iron Spikes. We go into Charizard. We get the belly drum up. Then what? Spikes comes through? That's fine. If this thing's unaware, it's still not going to appreciate the Earthquake. You know? So, I think we're all right. I really, and I don't think they're unaware. I think looking at their team composition that they're probably water absorb. Um, but I could be wrong there. My, my analytical skills are not the best. Let's go for a belly drum. They withdraw. So are they going to go Lando? Gromago. I, I don't know why I said it in that voice. Goldengo comes in. Caught in the sticky webs. So even if it's scarfed, it's outsped here. We go for a belly drum. Now we're in a good position, right? 
Because we're going to get our citrus berry back, which is great. Boom. This is where we could potentially see a DC. This is where we could potentially see a DC, but there's always just a possibility. So let's go for a fire punch right now and take this gold, then go cleanly out. Fire punch comes through. The only thing that could stop this is a focus dash, which they haven't got. Gold Engo goes down. Come on, Charizard. Get me some good footage. I have Foudre. The Raging Bolt comes in. Gets caught in the sticky web. It's going to Thunderclap us, isn't it? I know it's going to Thunderclap us. But you know what? Even after the special attacks boosted, I'm going to Terra Dragon Earthquake right now. I'm going to Terra Dragon Earthquake right this second. And thanks to the Aurora Veil, I'm going to take this Thunderclap like it's nothing. Thanks to the Aurora Veil, we might have actually took it anyway. But I, <laughs> I Terra Dragon, we're definitely taking the Thunderclap. Now, whether I should be Terra Dragon or Ground, I tried both. Dragon seemed to be the most convenient for, like, defensive purposes. But he didn't even Thunderclap for a start, which is amazing. They probably expected a switch, but no. So this means that this next Stone Edge slash Earthquake from Landorus is going to bounce right off us. Guard of Fur comes in. The Iron Valiant. Probably going to see... Yeah, Sticky Webs. But we're going to see Booster Energy. If the, after Sticky Web, Booster Energy... Oh, they aren't Booster Energy. <gasps> Ooh. Interesting. That's Acrobatics, this thing in the face. Acrobatics comes through. Down goes the Iron Valiant. They were trying to scare us out with Choice Scarf. But no, 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 no. My Charizard's in now. We're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. The Aurora Veil has war off, though. So Landorus, if it lives, the Acrobatics could potentially Earthquake us and potentially KO us. But I'm confident we can live at least one of those. Flottermeke comes in. And the fact that they haven't brought the Landorus in and they brought this thing in instead tells me we might be all right. So they get caught in the Sticky Webs, which is great. So we outspeed them. Let's go for an Acrobatics once again and take this thing out. Unless they're Focus Sashed, which they're not. <laughs> Unless they're Focus Sashed. The Rocky Helmet, that's actually going to help them. Because the Landorus, if the Landorus is Scarfed, we might not be able to take an Earthquake. We might not be able to take an Earthquake. If it's Rocky Helmet, we might not be able to... No, because the Rocky Helmet on the floor, maybe for some reason. Terry Esther comes in. The Clodsire. I'm guessing this thing's not unaware of why they would have brought it in earlier. So I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to go for an Earthquake right now. If they go into Lando expecting the Earthquake just to get the Intimidate off, then so be it. But no, it looks like they stayed in. Can they take it? They do. They are unaware. And they go for an EQ. Which ain't going to take us out for a start. It's not going to take us out for a start. Now we just go for an Acrobatics and take this thing out. Because they might go, mm, no, let's go for an Earthquake, screw it. So let's go for the Earthquake, screw it. Earthquake comes through. Down goes the Clodsire. And the reason I was going to go for Acrobatics and I was on an R in there is because if they went into Landorus to try and get an Intimidate self like, they could stack Intimidates on us, but they obviously haven't been able to do that this game. Uh, Landorus does come in, though. He gets that Intimidate off, like so. Now, if they're Scarf, they outspeed us here. But I'm pretty confident they're not Scarf. Let's go for an Acrobatics. Yep, they're not Scarf. Acrobatics KOs the Landorus. And that is going to be GG. A nice little 6-0 sweep for Charizard. I mean, I haven't got six Pokemon left, but you know, you know what I mean? They took out six of their Pokemon, which is amazing. Belly drum sweep. Can I get a like and subscribe for the Charizard sweep? Anyone? Anyway, the next battle is against Dia, and Charizard shines once again, as you would expect in a video dedicated to the orange, not dragon. And the battle begins. Good luck have fun, Dia. So they're going to lead off with Lorelei, which is the Lapras. Pretty good name for a Lapras, I will say that. We led off with good old Araquanid, which is great. Now, I'm obviously going to go straight for the Sticky Webs here. I see no reason not to. They go for a Whirlpool, which is interesting. So Whirlpool is a very interesting move. We get trapped in said Vortex, and we go for a Sticky Webs, which is unfortunately, for them, going to be a poor game because they haven't got Hazard Clearer. Unless they have Rapid Spin on the Quackable, which they may have. They may have. Um, I do. Uh, I don't really know what to do against this Lapras. Let's go for a Leech Life. I guess if we really wanted to, we could tear a Ghost to um, escape. Because you can't trap a Ghost type. If that makes sense. Um, in Pokemon, I I'm pretty sure that's how that works. We go for a Leech Life anyway. It's going to do no damage, but it gets us some health back, which is great. Um, they can just... <laughs> this Perish Song Trap thing is, is kind of annoying. So... Obviously, they're going to get hit by the Whirlpool. 
We're trapped by the whirlpool. And we've got a perish song on us. Pretty cool stuff, I will say that. Um, I am going to go for a leech life again. I'm just going to keep going for leech life. So they go for a life do to heal themselves back up. Wow. We go for a leech life. It's going to do some health to them. Uh, hopefully, we break out the whirlpool before the perish song gets up. It's always a possibility, I believe. So, whirlpool comes through again. Um, they fall to two. We fall to two. Are they going to let their Lapras go down? Or are they going to switch out last turn? Hmm. I mean, Araquinid got the, the sticky webs. I don't mind Araquinid going down here. So they go for another life do, which is fine. Absolutely fine. We go for a leech life. No damage still, but you know what? It's fine. Perish Song is going to count to zero, uh, to one now. Which means I should be... Um, no. No, we, we, we've lost the Raccoon into the Perish Trap. Very good play. Very good play by my opponent. Um, I'm going to attempt to switch. No, Pokemon can't be switched out. I didn't know if a Water Bubble might let us switch out, but it doesn't. Uh, anyway, they withdraw, obviously. And they go into the Pelipper, probably. Yeah, Pelipper comes in. So they get a free switch into the Pelipper, which, you know, probably thinking unfortunate. We go for a Leech Life. Does no damage, but it's still chip damage nonetheless. So I guess, in sense... Maybe we should have gone for a liquidation there, but whatever. It wouldn't have done much. As a Raccoon, it does poorly go down to the Perish song, so that's unfortunate. Um, but you know what? We're not going to lose anything else to that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our Ninetales. We're going to get our Aurora Veil up. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to go Vimto, like so. Snow Warning comes through. We get the Aurora Veil up straight away. They probably go into Lapras if I had to guess. They withdraw the Pelipper. And are they going to go Lapras or Tinkaton? Lorelei comes in. That's that's great. So they're going to try and perish trap us again. They get caught in the sticky web though, so they're a bit slower this time. We go for the Aurora Veil, which is now up for eight turns. And we pretty much go into something that can take on this thing. So what I'm leaning towards is... Do you know I'm leaning towards Gumshoes? And, and let me tell you why. So they're going to go for a Whirlpool, obviously. And then they'll go for a Perish Song to trap us. So we go into this thing. And we catch them off guard with a Focus Punch. So sheer cold. Well, that's BS. So one at KO. That's BS right there. That is BS right there. So now I have no way of dealing with this thing other than... They've got Life Dew, Perish, and Whirlpool, Sheer Cold. Screw it. Let's go Charizard. Let's go Charizard. Got the snow up. You know. And we just go for a BD. We go for a Belly Drum. Screw it. Let's go for a Belly Drum here. Here, right here, right now. I'm going to go for that Belly Drum. I'm going to boost my attack up. And I'm going to eat my berry. And they're going to go for a Whirlpool or a Sheer Cold. If they go for Sheer Cold and miss, we're golden. They Whirlpool. Perfect. Because you know what? The next turn, you're going down, mate. Something on your team is going down. Something on your team is going down. To an Acrobatics. Whether it's this thing or the next thing, I'm going for the Acrobatics. KOing that Lapras into Oblivion. I'm not letting you... You perish trap me. <laughs> Grafii comes in. That thing is... It's either going to swagger us or encore us or something like that. Um, I don't mind being encored into acrobatics, to be honest with you. So, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for the acrobatics first and foremost. They go for a switcheroo. What are they going to give us? What do they give us here? A lagging tail. That's annoying. It still came with the Graphite Eye, at least. But Charizard gets the lagging tail. That's not good. That ain't good at all. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. Pelipper comes in. That thing's going to try and get the rain up, right? I mean, it is going to get the rain up. It outspeeds my Charizard, who's a plus six attack. And it hits us with a Surf, right? So we go for Terra Dragon no, Acrobatics right now. There we go. Terra Dragon comes through. Hopefully, we can see um, something here. There we go, Terra Dragon. Hopefully we can live a surf in the rain. If they go for Hydro Pump, it's over. If they go for Hydro Pump, it's all over. 
They go for Hydro Pump and they hit the Hydro Pump. It's going to KO us. It doesn't KO us you in the rain. We go for an Acrobatics and we don't take out the Pellet because we have a, we've got an item now. So that's that's the unfortunate um, aspect of that. Um, it was still our best option. Fire Punch not very effective, etc. So we go for another Acrobatics. They go for a Hurricane. That's going to take us out. No problem. We lived! We get confused. Oh my god, Charizard. This is, this is just... You, you're toying with my heart here. Toying with my heart. Please break through. Yes! So Charizard gets three KOs with his belly drum set. Thanks to the Aurora Veil helping us live those hits. I really thought we would like die to the hurricane at least. Queendra comes in with a K. Gets caught in the sticky webs, which is great. However, we do have the lagging tail, so we are going to move last here. So I'm going to go for an EQ just in case they get greedy and set up. They go for a weather ball, which is obviously going to KO us. No problems there. So now what do we do against this Queendra? Because it's got... It's got... um Lowered speed from the sticky web, but its speed is then doubled by the rain. And the Aurora Veil has just wore off. Do we have anything fast? Oh, wait, we can just go into... <laughs> We're just going to Nine Tails and ruin this Kingdra's day. We have Ninetales comes in, like so. Charizard did good there, though. That sheer cold Lapras threw me off. Poor Gumshoes didn't get to do out. But it's fine. So we probably go for an Aurora Veil here every single time. They'd probably go into Tinkaton if I had to guess. They do switch out. Are they going Tinkaton? Tinkaton comes in. There we go. So Tinkaton is a good switch there. Could take any hit from us. We get and gets caught in the sticky webs, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Mold Breaker breaks the mold. We go for the Aurora Veil, which is great. And um, now we can just go into Great Tusk, right? Yeah, we just go Great Tusk. We just go Great Tusk every single time. I think Great Tusk walls the entirety of their team now. The Kindred gets out sped. Quackerwood doesn't want to take an Earthquake either. Sword Dance. You don't have speed, though. And also, you're not going to KO me. So I'm not worried at all. Let's go for an EQ. There's no point getting Stealth Rocks up at this point. So they're going to Terra. What type are they Terraing into? Oh. What type are they going to Terra into? They're going to Terra into a Flying type, right? Yeah, Flying type. That's fine. Because even with the Swords Dance, Ice Spinner. We Ice Spinner you every single time here. Earthquake comes through. I just need to get with the Tinker Tongue and Ninetales take care of the, the whole team. In fact, Ninetales can take care of the Tinker Tongue now that it's a, now that it's a Flying type. Um, so we just go for an Ice Spinner here. No no problems there. Ice Spinner comes through. Boom. And that's a clean 2 hit KO even before the critical hit. Sword Dance comes through. It's not going to work. It ain't going to work. That, that Ice Spinner was 2 hit KOing you even without the um, critical hit. Because the crit's times 1.5 times, right? It's not double anymore. So we go for another Ice Spinner here. I guess I could have gone for a Rapid Spin, but we've got Sticky Webs up anyway, so it's not a big deal. There we go. Down goes the Tinker Tom. Great news. Great news for Great Tusk. As Tinker Tom goes down, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. In comes the Quackerville. Quackerville looking amazing. It's going to try and get some Aqua Step shenanigans going on. It's Heavy Duty Boots, so it didn't get hurt by the uh, Sticky Webs. So we rapid spin first because they're going to go for an aqua step anyway. So that means we should have gone for an earthquake actually. I thought we would outspeed, but we don't. We don't. So we go for a rapid spin. That's going to raise our speed a little bit as well. Aurora Bell wears off soon, but not too soon. Let's go for an earthquake. Aqua step comes through. Not going to KO my Great Tusk. You're going to get more Rocky Helmet damage than you are doing to us. There's the Rocky Helmet chip. We go for an EQ. And that is, of course, going to take out the Quackable from there. So that's great. The Quackable goes down to the Great Tusk. They basically have to go Kingdra here. Obviously, it's their last Pokemon. But they have to um, with Kingdra. They pretty much have to hope they out... But they will outspeed us because we Rapid Spinned. We go for an earthquake all the time here, and we, we 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 have they have to hope we don't get a crit. If we get a crit earthquake here, that'd be hilarious. No, no crits. But they go for a flash cannon, which is interesting. That's not gonna KO us. Yeah. Aurora Bell's just worn off as well. That's a shame for them. Let's go for another earthquake. Earthquake comes through. 
Boom. They go for flash cannon. So I'm guessing they're choice locked. There must be specs. Because they want to lock themselves into flash cannon for the nine tails. But unfortunately. Sticky webs. My friend. So I'm going to go into nine tails now. And I'm going to go for a freeze dry. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Freeze dry comes through. And down goes the Kingdra, which is great. So GG to my opponent there. GG. It was a really fun one. Um, Charizard didn't get to do too much, but I, I liked the lagging tail switcheroo. That was pretty cool, I will say. I think given it was against the rain team and it was tricked to lagging tail, it did a pretty good job. The next battle is against Fate from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. And once again, you guessed it, Charizard pops off. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Fate. So they're going to lead off with Meow Skirada. Nice and shiny as we got to lead off with our Raquinid. Also nice and shiny. Um, we could just leech life this thing straight away, but it's probably going to go for a U-turn if I had to guess. So I'm going to go straight for the sticky webs. They go for a knockoff, which is fine. Knockoff's going to come through and it's going to do a lot of damage. So it'll probably take us down. No, it doesn't even take us down to a Sash. Great. So knockoff comes through. We go for a sticky web. They basically have to go for a either a flower trick or a U-turn here, right? So we go for a liquidation all the time here. They go for the flower trick. Okay, so but they are terror they are dark types, so liquidation is still um, still gonna hurt. That was a nice Arachnid is taking hits today. Let's go for a liquidation. Take out the Miascarada in one hit, which is amazing. So Arachnid taking out one of the biggest threats to my Charizard is amazing. We've just gotta watch out for the Cerule Edge because it could be focus sashed. Azula comes in. That's going to be the Cerule Edge. Nice and shiny as well. I, lo I, li I like the eyes on shiny Cerule Edge and Armour Rouge. I think they look really cool. So they get the Sticky Webs. We still get out Sped here. So we have to switch out. Um, I didn't really have the best switch other than Great Tusk though. So I'm going to go for the Great Tusk switch. And I'm going to attempt to get my Stealth Rocks up. I don't want to activate the things we can't just yet. Um, especially considering it could Terra. It could do anything really. So we'll uh, go into Great Tusk. They go for a Shadow Sneak. We break the Focus Sash with the Rocky Helmet. If they have got Focus Sash. Which is great. Um, and we just go for a Stealth Rock here all the time. Every single time we go for a Stealth Rock. They withdraw. What are they going to go into? Probably the Greninja if I had to guess. Um, they go into Sally. Who's Sally? Is that Greninja? Salamence. Good switch. If we go for an Earthquake here, you get a free switch in. They also have Intimidate, which is cool. So they might be special. So let's go for a Stealth Rocks. And then we'll just sack off the Araquanid at this point. Uh, they could Dragon Nance. If they Dragon Nance, we've got the... Um, like nine tails in the back with a snail. So it's not the end of the world if they Dragon Nance. Let's go for a Raquinid. Let's just go for a Raquinid. If they Dragon Nance, they Dragon Nance. I don't. I, don't I, I, I can get around it. I can get around it. So we're going to Bubbles real quick. There we go. And uh, they do go for a Dragon Nance, which is fine. Again, we can handle it. We can handle it. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to go straight for a Liquidation here just because I don't want them setting up all over me. And I'd rather get defense drops if I can. They withdraw. They obviously think we have some sort of tech. Maybe we're a Custat Berry, for example. And they go into Gliscor. Oh, they're expecting an Ice Time move of some... No, not an Ice Time move. They're expecting something. I don't know what, but we go for a Liquidation there. And that's going to cleanly nearly take out the Gliscor, which is amazing. They do get the Toxic Heal, which is great for them. Um, and at this point, I'm just like... I'm just going to let my thing go down here. They go for a Protect to get the uh, Toxic Heal back, which makes sense. But they have to KO the Araquanid at this point. So we go for a Liquidation. Obviously, it's not going to work um, with a Gliscor there. So what do we do here? So they get the Poison Heal. They can't go for Protect again. So I'm going to go for another Liquidation. I think they have to try and take us out of a knockoff or something. They go knockoff. Oh, it just barely misses the KO. And we Liquidation the Gliscor. Why is Araquanid putting in the finest of work right now? Why is Araquanid putting the finest of working right now? That's, that's crazy. So Gliscor goes down. Azula comes in. The Paldea champion, of course. Um, just so it doesn't sell a Swords Dance, I'm obviously going to go for a Liquidation again. So they get Sticky Webbed. They get Stealth Rocked. They're not Heavy Duty Boots. They probably were Focus Sashed. Let's go for a Liquidation right now. They have to take us out with a bit of Blade. Yeah, I was going to say, bit of Blade all the way. Gets a crit. Doesn't really matter, obviously. We had like three HP left, which they have now sucked from our bodies. So, a rack when it goes down. This is a good opportunity for us to get Charizard in. Or Gumshoes. That's right, I said it. Gumshoes. Or Ninetales. I I'm leaning towards Ninetales. I'm going to go Ninetales. 
I'm gonna get Nine Tails. I'm gonna get the Aurora Veil up. I'm gonna get Charizard in. I'm gonna Belly Drum, and I'm gonna take this, 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 uh, the whole team out. The rest of the team out. I'm gonna take the rest of the team out with Charizard. You just watch. Let's go for a Aurora Veil right now. Aurora Veil comes through, like so. They are gonna get the Bit Blade recovery, obviously, um, which is fine. Sword Dance. Even better. Now you're probably wondering why that's even better. Well, we have Encore. Which I'm going to go for right now. So you have to go for Swords Dance for the next turns whilst you're out. So we are in a very good position right now for Charizard to come in. And this is why I like this team so much. The Ninetales perfectly complements the Charizard. Allowing it to come in, sell up his belly drums, all that wonderful stuff. There we go. Withdrawing the Ninetales. We're going to go into our Charizard. Like so. And they do withdraw. So they, they obviously read what we were going to do. And they're going to go into Sun Goku, the Paldea Champion. Now, that is an Infernape if I've ever seen one. Nice and shiny as well. Gets caught in the sticky web so we know I outspeed them. Unless they're choice scarfed, of course. If anything, they're going to Thunder Punch here. So we Terra Dragon Belly Drum right now. We Terra Dragon Belly Drum right now so that we do not lose that Thunder Punch. We should be able to take the Close Combat if they do predict the Terror and go for Close Combat. We should be able to take it with Charizard them um, being in Aurora Veil vale and all that. Um, but eh, sliffy. They go for the Thunder Punch. They are Choice Scarfed, which means they're locked in. No Paralysis, which is nice. We go for that Belly Drum. And I think that's it. I think it's all Ogre now. It's all Ogre now. We get that Citrus Berry, which brilliant. It's going to heal us right back up to about a third of our health left. Um, let's go for the Acrobatics. I, I see no reason not to. They withdraw. Oh, are they going to use Salamence to try and get the Intimidate off? Sally, that's, that's the Salamence, I remember. Yeah, nice and shiny Salamence. Gotta, gotta love it. They get the Intimidate off, which is going to obviously lower our attack a little bit. We go for an Acrobatics, though. And that cleanly takes out the Salamence, which is amazing. Charizard coming through once again. What an absolute legend. The snow is going to stop, but the Aurora Veil remains strong. Kage comes in. The reliable partner. That's the Greninja. Yep, Greninja comes in. Nice and shiny. Gets caught in the sticky webs and stealth rocks. Which is great. And uh, we simply go for an acrobatics here. If they go for water shuriken, that's fine. They are going to terror. What type are they going to terror into to prevent this acrobatics from KOing? Are they going to go terror ground expecting a thunder punch? They go terror water with water shuriken, perhaps? They must be banking on hitting all five turns of the water shuriken. Because water shuriken's a priority move, if you didn't know. Um, they obviously don't know. We go for an acrobatics. That Greninja's life is over. And I think the only thing they can do really is try and stall out the Aurora Veil so they can take us out of a close combat from the Infernape. That's the only thing they can really do. Sun Goku comes in. The Paldea Champion, might I add. Um, they aren't going to try and stall out the Aurora Veil, which is fine. They're probably going to try and put us in range for Saru Ledger's Shadow Sneak. I'm going to go for an Acrobatics again. I don't see any reason not to. They go for the close combat. I don't think that's in range for Shadow Sneak, I'm afraid. I think even with Aurora Veil gone, Shadow Sneak still wouldn't KO us there. As Acrobatics cleanly takes out the, the uh, Inferno, which is amazing. So, we've had a lot, of ex a lot of success with this Charizard team. A lot of battles I haven't showed you guys. But, still, really good team, I think. They go for Shadow Sneak, trying to get the KO. If they get a crit, nah. Nah, Acrobatics comes through, takes out the Cerule Legend. That is going to be the game, so GG Fate. That was a fun one. Charizard once again proving why it is a menace to the entirety of the meta game right now. <laughs> GG. You love to see it. I think I can safely say I've made the Charizard stands proud of this one. Bit of a shorter video, but I'm still figuring some stuff out with this video quality thing I'm working on. But I hope you all enjoyed it anyway. Feel free to try the team out, and with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.